Hello, and today we are going to show you how to bend an STL file in Blender. It's really not too difficult, so let's get started. When you first enter Blender, get rid of that cube. We don't need that thing. Import your STL file. In this case, I am bringing in an elephant. He's a cute little guy. I got him from Thingiverse. He's originally a ring holder. However, I want to turn him into like a hand towel holder. So essentially, the head and the trunk, I almost need to bend a full 90 degrees. So what we're going to do is take a look at our model and the little iso center the the middle point the circular thing right underneath i highlighted here that is what's going to be the center of rotation when we bend our object so essentially we want to remember that and i'm going to place the little iso center there right where i want the inflection point of the bend to be now unfortunately this little elephant was came in and at a catty corner angle so i'm kind of having to you know finagle it but this this is for demonstration purposes so give me a little leeway here so i have approximately where i want to actually be the center of rotation for my bend so i now am looking at my stl file and the next thing we want to go to edit mode on the top left that's going to select the entire mesh of your stl file i zoom in look that's your mesh so what we want to do is select the actual parts of the mesh that we want to bend so the way you're going to do that is with the left click of your mouse hold down shift left click and drag and there i selected pieces of the mesh now remember you have to do this on every single angle so when i bend the parts that are orange right here those mesh points are going to bend but if they're not orange they're not going to bend so if part of the trunk isn't selected those parts are not going to bend and it's going to look like absolute trash so you do have to remember that it takes sometimes a little trial and error i practiced this before but one thing to note look i didn't look down so there were a few points on the top of his trunk that i didn't select those would not have bent and it would have messed up the whole thing not too hard to fix right you just go and select them Control z select them you're good to go but something certainly to remember so now that we have that go to mesh transform and bend now shift w if you're a shortcut person that's the shortcut if you're not just go to transform bend and now left click hold that and bend and you're seeing the orange part of this elephant is bending to where i'm pointing it to go which is pretty nice so i'm going to click off this and then i'm going to go to object mode just to show you look I mean, ultimately, that looks pretty good right off the bat. I bent that almost an entire 90 degrees. Yeah, it's not perfect, but that's why I love Blender, because you go back to Sculpt Mode in the top left, hit that Smooth, and now I can go to all the points that look a little jank, and I can just smooth that out. And very shortly, this thing looks like it was meant to hold a hand towel in my bathroom when of course it was not it was totally different so it's really powerful to be able to edit stl files from thingiverse colts 3d whatever and i mean i think it looks pretty good now you may say okay dude that trunk isn't even straight it's not flat okay you could go back into edit mode select parts of the trunk you can go again select mesh transform and then bend or hit shift w and then you could keep manipulating this to even where your trunk is flat but ultimately that i think is really powerful i love the tools here select go back in object mode select your your little in this case elephant hit export stl i'm gonna go back into bamboo just load him up I guess I called it untitled for some reason. Boom, there is our elephant, and you are ready to print your modified STL file. I hope this helped. If you got any questions, please comment below. Happy printing.